Hi, this is Harish Bali from Technofair.com. If slowing down of your Android device is a problem, you don't know what to do, then watch these 10 tips to make your Android device run faster. First one is disable live wallpapers. The one that you see is a live wallpaper. It requires extra CPU power to run them which makes the device little slower and drains the battery life too. So always try to use good static wallpapers instead of dynamic ones. This is a static wallpaper. Second thing that needs to be considered is use limited widgets on the home screen, especially those widgets that consume a lot of data services like weather forecast, mail services, etc. Also clean the unused icons from the home screen too. While these widgets update information on a real time basis, but they consume a lot of data power from the CPU. Remove them from the home screen. Removing these widgets and icons from the home screen will add resources to your device functionality. Third way is to turn off the auto sync option from the settings of your device. It's a dual SIM phone. So I will need to go to general and then accounts and sync. Turn this off. This will conserve data and battery usage. Okay. Auto sync slows down the device because it pulls CPU power to keep the information up to date. If you really want to sync your content, then you can do this once or twice in a week. Next tip that I'm going to share is most popular, but we don't use it often. And that's uninstall the unwanted apps for that. Go to settings of the device. Scroll down to apps. Scroll towards the right. All apps identify the apps that you don't need. For example, I don't need this. Do a long press and uninstall it. Next step is to free up RAM and even clear your system cache. To check the RAM usage, simply go to settings, apps, scroll towards the right into the running tab. And there you can see the RAM performance. To get over this issue, you can use app like Clean Master. It helps to clear junk data on the device. I have done a tutorial on this, which you can watch and learn how to best use it. It offers suggestions to clean unwanted files and make space for RAM to function better. Next tip is to go back to the settings and then developer option. If you don't see developer option on the settings page, you can enable it by watching a tutorial. Link is given in the description below. Go to the developer option, scroll down, look for animation scale. Trust me guys, you don't really need it. You can turn it off or change it from 1x to 0.5x for all the three cases, windows animation, transition animation scale. And the third one is animator duration scale. Let me show you how it looks when your device is at a 5x animation scale. Just look at the speed at which apps are opening. Let me go back and make it 0.5x. Next step is to use third party launchers like Action Launcher, Google Now, Yahoo Aviate, Nova Launcher and there are many more. These launchers are good at keeping apps and folders organized. They are optimized to work on your smartphone. You will see noticeable difference in performance of your smartphone when you have one of these few weeks back, I did a review of action launcher and Yahoo Aviate. You can watch that by clicking on the link appearing in front of your screen. Next step is to update your device with latest software. Most devices work slower because the bugs that occur while using the devices hardware. These updates are generated to solve these types of bugs. You can check the latest update for your devices by going to settings about phone. Check for any update that's available under the software info. I also did a tutorial on how to update your Android device. You can check that out in the link given in the description below. Next step, though very simple, but many of us don't follow is we must use data cable charger adapter provided to us by the manufacturer. 
Use of third party accessories on your device drains battery life and puts a bad performance to the device. Last and the 10th tip is if nothing else works, you can do a factory reset of your Android device. After this, your settings of the device will be set to its default. Before you do a factory reset, ensure that you take proper backup. Few weeks back, I have done a tutorial on how to factory reset your Android device. You can check that out. That was about 10 ways to improve performance of your Android device and make it run faster. If you have done something else and found it giving results, do share that in comments below. There are other short and useful tutorials on getting more out of your Android device. Check that out by clicking the links that you see in front of your screen. I will love to see you watching my videos for which do subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button that you see. Thanks for your interest and time.